this is Vasavi from At Home. So today we are going to see how to uh, solve the linear equations with two variables using the elimination method. So here as the name suggests we are going to eliminate one unknown variable and find the other one. Okay, And then substitute the ones, one variable which you have found out with the previous one and get the answer. So I will just show you how to do it. You have been given two equations here right equation 1 and equation 2. You can see that we need to eliminate one variable, right? So, to eliminate one variable, it has to be the same variable with the same coefficient but different sign, okay? So, looking at the, these two equations, you see that x has got the same, right? It is 4x here and 4x here. One is positive and the other one is negative. So, I can directly add these two equations minus 4x and plus 4x will get cancelled because they are 0. So just cancel this out. Now minus 2y and plus 8y. When the signs are different, you need to subtract them, right? So that is 6y and put the greater number sign. So that is plus here, okay? Equals this side. Both the signs are same. When the signs are same, you need to add them. So that becomes 36. And put the greater number sign. So that is negative 36. So you get your y as. Minus 36 divided by. Dividing throughout by 6. Okay. Uh, by 6 will give you minus 6. You got your y as negative 6 now. Okay. Now substitute the y in any one of the equations. So I will do it in the second equation. Because. I don't want to take the negative signs. So I just take the second equation. So I get 4x plus 8 times your y is what? Minus 6. So substitute the y there. Uh, minus 6 equals negative 24 here. So that would be 4x minus 48, right? Multiplying the 8 with the negative 6. You get 48 equals minus 24. So adding 48 on both sides, you get your 4x is equal to minus 24 plus 48. When the 48 minus 48 goes to the other side, it is plus 48. So you get your x, 4x as 24. Okay. And so your x equals 24 over 4 that is 6 positive 6 okay now you have found out the values for x and y so if you want you can have a check put the two values in first equation substitute x and y in equation 1 okay I take equation 1 because here we had used 2 equation 2 so uh, for checking it is better you use you take the other equation. So that would be like minus 4x right. So your minus 4 your x is 6. So I put the 6 here. Minus 2y. 2 times y is minus 6 equals minus 12. Okay. See if your left hand side and the right hand side is equal. Okay. So here you get minus 24. And here this is plus 12 equals minus 12. So that shows this side it is minus 12 is equal to your minus 12. So your answer is right. LHS is equal to RHS. Okay. So that seems to be right. And so your answers are right. So your x comma y is equal to 6 comma negative 6. So let's do the similar problem but here what you find is you find the x term same but the signs are also same actually the signs has to be different right this sign if one is positive the other should be negative but here you see that 6x is both negative in both the cases okay in equation 1 and equation 2 so to make one of them positive multiply the first equation with negative 1 so, won't that become plus 6? Yeah. So, now you have to multiply throughout the first equation with 
negative 1. So that would be 6x minus 6y equals minus 6. Okay, when I multiply with the negative 1. And the second equation I write as it is. So here I get minus 6x plus 3y equals minus 12. Right? Fine. Now adding both, what happens? The 6 will get cancelled as before. Now you get negative 3y, right? Minus 3y equals minus 18. So your y would be minus 18 over minus 3. So that is that is positive 6, right? So your y is 6 now, okay? So substitute the y in one of the equations like before. Substituting y in either of the two equations. It's, it's your choice. So I would do it in the first equation. So what happens? That will be minus 6x plus 6y. 6 times y is 6. So 6 equals 6. Okay. So that is minus 6x plus 36 equals 6. So your minus 6x will be equal to Taking the 36 to the other side, it becomes minus 36, right? So you get minus 6x as minus 30, okay? Minus 30. So your x would be minus 30 divided by, right? Divided by minus 6. So your x is 5, right? Your x is 5. Now, let's check for the answer. Take second equation because here we have used the first equation. So, it is minus 6. Your x is 5. So, substitute 5 in here. Then you have plus 3y. y is 6 is equal to minus 12. Let's see if the left hand side is equal to right hand side. So, this is negative 30 plus 18. Yeah equals minus 12. So you get minus 12 is equal to minus 12. So it, your LHS is equal to your RHS, right? Your left hand side and the right hand side are equal. So that means your answer is right. So what is your value? X comma Y would be 5 comma 6. Okay? So this is done. Let's look at another problem. Here you find little different. That is, first of all, the equations are not in the order, right? So let me rewrite it in the proper order. The proper order in the sense, the general form, where you have the x and y terms on your left and the constant term to your right, right? Okay, fine. I've taken this 3 to this side. Now, same way, this minus 3, I have to take this side and this 10x will come here. So, what happens? This becomes, second equation becomes minus 10x minus 7y equals 3. Okay? So, now this is equation 1. First, rewrite the question. Then, let's do. Here, you find that <coughs> no terms are equal, right? Uh, the x term as well as the y terms are not equal. So try to make them equal. So I'm going to make the x equal. It, you can even make the y equal. That's left to you. I'm making the x equal. Okay. I just want the x to be equal. For that, I just multiply that with 5. Okay. So what happens? It becomes 2x times 5 will become 10x. Right. So yeah, I got them same now with different signs. Minus. When you're multiplying something, do it throughout, okay, with all the terms in that equation. So that's minus 5x equals minus 3 times 5 is minus 15. Understood? When you're multiplying something, multiply throughout the equation. Second equation I write as it is. So that is minus 10x minus 7y equals 3, okay? So let's do this. What happens? This plus 10x and minus 10x will get cancelled. Here this is both are minus so you have to add them with a negative sign. So that's minus 12y equals here when the signs are different. 
So you subtract and give the greater number sign. So it is minus 12. So your y will be equal to minus 12 divided by minus 12. That is 1. Okay. Your y is 1. Substitute in, in the, first, the y in first equation. 2x minus y. Minus y is 1. Right. Equals minus 3. So your 2x would be. Minus 3 plus 1. So that is minus 2. So your 2x is minus 2. So your x will be minus 2 over 2 which is minus 1. Okay. So you got your minus 1. x is minus 1 and y is 1. Let us have a check. Substituting the x and y in equation 2. Okay. So that is minus 10 times. Your x is minus 1. Right. Minus 1. Minus 7 times. Positive 1. Equals 3. Let's see if it is right. Yeah. This becomes 10. And here minus 7. Equals 3. So you get 3 equals 3. Right. So your LHS is equal to RHS. You have proved that your answers are right. So your final answer is x comma y equals minus 1 comma 1. Okay. So that's done.